Right, what's up YouTube, back again with another video and like I said in my previous video regarding this sort of editing software we're going to be putting up this time On One Portrait AI 2023 against the one I use all the time myself um, Portrait Pro and that's got the new version 2023 as well Right, okay, so this software I'm looking at now is £75.91 pence to purchase it outright. Um, you can use it as a standalone. I'm just using it on the trial version. I've got two days left, so I've got to get this video done. Okay, so we've got £75.91 and Portrait Pro. Um, if you look at the last video, I think it still will be. It's £49. Um, so roughly around about the same in dollars, etc. Right, okay, so the reason why I tell you in my videos that Portrait Pro is just, it can't be beaten, or so many features, etc., it's just, I don't know, it, 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 it's obviously the market leader. I'm just going to try, basically. Um, now this software here, again, it's got some features, obviously, yep. Has it got as many as Portrait Pro? No. Does it make the images look as good as what Portrait Pro can, in my opinion? Well, let's just do a comparison. I've got this software up and running, and I've got Portrait Pro ready to do a quick edit as well. Okay, so we're going to give ourselves, I don't know, five, ten minutes to do each one. This video might just go on a little bit longer, but bear with me. It's worth watching, I think. For anyone who's in, doing this sort of thing, editing photos, and you need to do it, you know, batch editing, quite a few photos at the same time. It's it, it's impossible to be sat there editing pictures for five or six hours or whatever, four hours, three hours, two hours, one picture at a time. It's just it's it's not doable. Okay, so this software sort of like takes that all that tedious time for me uh, out of doing that. And um, again, clients are happy with what I do. So this lady was in the studio and she came with no makeup on so we're going to give her that a little bit of a makeover look and um, you can just see the results yourself so portrait pro ai it gives you like the option it's male it's a female children etc so i'm going to click on female and the age range is between 16 and 30 so we'll click on that one and then it does some automatic updates for you to the to the picture and then anyway but what i'm going to do is just i'm not i'm just going to keep it as quick as possible do exactly what i would do and then you can see the results from each picture and see which one wins okay so the sliders on this side we've got blemishes, detail, smoothing, you know, the same things that you're going to have on any sort of software that's going to do this sort of thing for you. So we will go to the blemishes. We're not going to go crazy, just like I don't in the other one, um, but you'll just see the results you can get with this one towards the results you'll get with Portrait Pro. Okay, so we're going to do this edit as quick as possible. And then you can judge for yourself which one gives you the better one. Okay, so we've got preview on. So left eyes, you know, it that the way it does that, yep, yeah, okay, it's gonna move it's moving everything in that area. We don't need a slimmer face that much, so we'll just go down. But if you notice, I've only got one option. Slim face or not slim face. Um, so we'll bring the eye sizes down. Eye brightness. Now if you look as I'm doing that, it sort of like just makes a, a band across everything. Like I said, I'm just doing this in the quick, quickest mode possible. Okay, whitening eyes. Well, there you go, that does that fine. So we'll just give the eyes a little bit of whitening to about there. Eye detail make them pop just a little bit she hasn't got any dark circles really but we'll just show you what that would do it's just going to whiten that area there 
brow enhance. I know it does a good job of doing this. Auto red eye removal, we don't need to bother with any of that. Now you can, if you want to, get the eyes adjusted. Again, it's giving you a few points, one, two, three, four, to adjust the eyes. I've had a look at this anyway, and I'm just showing you what it can do. In my opinion, it's a pretty poor job of what it does. Anyway, so you can see you can adjust the lips as well if you want to. So there we go with the lips. It's recognized a closed mouth. Again, we've not got much, we, we can't do anything with the little dip in a lip where you can just get as near as damn it, basically. Okay, so we've got teeth whitening, no te teeth on show, lip vibrancy. There we go. We've just got basic features for the price. It's more of a, in my opinion, like a £19 quick editing program. 19, you know, something like that. Not, you know, lip hue, etc. Right, okay, so we'll just leave that alone. Lip brightness, we're going to leave that alone. And now I've messed the lips up. Right, so that should be there, I think. Around about there, there we go. That was how they were. Lip vibrance. We'll give a little bit more colouring of the lips. And that is basically all you get. Nothing else, really. Unless I'm missing something with this program, which I don't think I am. There's nothing else I can really do with it. Now, it does give you the option to give a little bit of a, you know, standard edit. Um, adjust the contrast, blah, blah, blah. But basically, that is all I can do. Which, for some people, you know just a quick touch up they might be happy with that so what I'm gonna do is save that quick export we'll save that as a JPEG and we'll call this on one quality put it up to up to 100 and it's saved and rendered image okay so we'll close that down cancel that now the software that you can pick up for um, at the moment under 50 pounds let's have a go what we can do with this okay straight off the bat like I said this girl came in no makeup and um, we're just gonna give her a little more of that glamorous look and uh, as if the as if she had come in with makeup and Let's see how quick we can do this one. Okay, so the eyes widening. We'll just give it a little bit of a pop to the eyes around about there. Plump lips, just a tad. Hair volume, just bring that up just a little bit. Now, uh, we will go to, I mean, straight off the bat, all them features just in the first section of shaping the head area. It outdoes the other one I've just used. Okay, let's slim neck. Uh, we want to just give that neck a little bit more length. We're going to tuck the neck in. Just about there. Neck base. No, it's pulling the side of the face as well, so we won't be using that one. And same with the shoulders. Again, some of the pictures you need to mess around with first before you'll get any good results with this but anyway it's not something I've just shown you what you can do in this one the skin smoothing again I'm just gonna keep this to a maximum a minimum sorry not maximum we're just gonna give the picture a little bit more detail brought back in Trim the eyebrows, none of this, none of this. Imperfections, we're just going to go up to there. She hasn't got any wrinkles, but we'll give it just a couple of tads on each one. Remove pause slightly. Remove the shine. Imperfections, down one. Okay, in there, that's probably that all I'm going to do. Eye section. We'll just whiten the eyes up and clean the eyes. Just a little bit. Whiten eye area. We're not going to 
to go too crazy. Don't need to darken the pupil. Don't need to make the pupil size any bigger. We're going to make the eyes pop by giving them a little bit of sharpen and a little bit of brow sharpen as well. Brighten the iris just a little bit. And that's it in there. Okay. Um, and then the next one we're going to go to, we've got hair. We're just going to make that hair pop just a little bit. So we'll give it a little bit of fill light, not too much. Again, it's grabbing everything perfectly just as I want it to. So, you know, a little bit more fill light. We'll just go up to about 35 on that. And that's all I'm going to do in there. Excuse me. Okay, mouth and lips area. We're just going to get a little bit of that moistening the lips back into the picture. To about there. Again, we could change the lips if we wanted to. We can a little bit more red if we wanted to, but we're going to leave everything near enough the same as the original. Okay. So far, so good. Now we're going to get a little bit of moulding and shaping to the features of the face just to finish off in one second, but we'll just go in and get those eyelashes popping and a little bit of eyeliner just about there. Now this eye is a little bit, I've noticed now, now I'm zoomed in, it's closed a little bit more than the other one, so we'll go into here. Bring the eyes up to the same. Okay. Close all those down. And we've done the eyes, done those. Everything I'm happy with so far. And then the last one we're going to finish with is the modelling light structure of the face, basically. So we're going to zoom out the picture so we can see it in all its glory. Again, light touches to the eyes. This is how I want this picture to be. Okay, so we'll just um, we'll give it a bit of modelling. Now that's going to give some definition around the side of the face here. As you can see, we're just going to get some more definition to the nose. So we'll sculpt the nose. And then we'll give it some left shadow there. A little bit of right shadow. Now them eyes, once you've done this, you can just sometimes see that the eyes, you might have gone too far, which I think I have in this case. So we're going to bring that down just a little bit. Again, it depends what you want from the picture when you're doing this, but I'm just going to bring those down a little bit. Go back to the contour modeling. I'm going to bring down just a little bit. And, uh, 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 and everything else. I'm going to leave for now. Again, like I said, this is just a quick one. A little bit of shadow under the chin. Now we can adjust the lighting position. If you look in the eye, the lighting position was just off to the left there. So I'm just going to bring it and you can see it adjusts everything in the picture how it should be or how you want it to be so I'm happy with that we'll just bring it up to that side just a little bit now I'm just going to go into the picture and I'm going to bring the saturation down a few maybe there and I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to put all the pictures side by side at the end of this video and you can judge for yourself which one has worked the best. Okay, see you in the next one. Peace!